This is Mr. Masonette, and in this tutorial we are going to demonstrate how you can find the greatest common factor and the least common multiple of any given pair of numbers. The first thing that we are going to do is draw what looks like an upside down division sign. And then on the outside of this sign, we are going to write a common factor of 32 and 48. And you do not have to start with the greatest common factor. Any common factor will do other than the number 1. For example, the number 4 can equally be divided into 32 and 48, so 4 is a common factor of both 32 and 48. And we write how many times that common factor can be divided into each number below each number. So 4 may be divided into 32 8 times, and 4 can be divided into 48 12 times. And now that we have two new numbers at the bottom, we do the same thing that we did to the first two numbers, is to locate a common factor that can be divided into 8 and 12. For example, 4 is a common factor of 8 and 12 because 4 can equally fit into 8 twice and 4 may be divided into 12 three times. When the two numbers at the bottom only share a common factor of 1, you have broken down the numbers as far as they will go. So then you go to the left hand column here and you take all of your numbers and multiply them together and that will give you the greatest common factor of the original two numbers. So we would say that the GCF of 32 and 48 is equal to 16. Now what's nice about using this strategy is we actually have all the numbers that we need to calculate the least common multiple of 32 and 48. And what you do is you take all of the numbers on the left hand side that we used and the numbers that you have all the way at the bottom and you're going to multiply all of those numbers together and if you notice it kind of forms a large L which stands for least in least common multiple. So we are going to multiply 4 times 4 which is 16 and 16 times 2 is 32 and 32 times 3 is 96. And if you cannot do that mentally, you can write all four numbers on a piece of scratch paper and calculate what that product is going to be. For example, I can take 4 times 4, which is 16, and I can take 2 times 3, which is 6, and multiply those products together. And 16 times 6 is equivalent to 96. So the LCM of these two numbers is equal to 96. Let's try one more example. In this example, we are going to find the greatest common factor and the least common multiple of 24 and 36. Right off the bat, most people would recognize that 12 is the greatest common factor of 24 and 36, so we can simply write 12 on the outside of 24 and 36. And 12 can be divided into 24 twice, and 12 can be divided into 36 three times. So we have already broken down these two numbers as far as they will go. So we already know that the greatest common factor of these two numbers is equal to 12. Now to find the least common multiple, we are going to draw our letter L here and then multiply all of the numbers that lie within our letter L. So to find the LCM, we are going to multiply 12 times 2 times 3. And 12 times 2 is equal to 24, and 24 times 3 is equal to 72. So we would say that the least common multiple of 24 and 36 is equal to 72.